you how to look at your analytics um, from Twitter. To do this, you'll first need to go to analytics.twitter.com and download the uh, data that you need for um, Twitter. So um, firstly, you need to click on tweets once you're logged on. And in the top right hand corner, you'll see a button to export data. When you export that data, and I'll explain that more in a post, um, you should get a CSV file that will look like this, something like tweet activity metrics, your username, a couple of numbers, and then CSV at the end. That means it's a spreadsheet, but the best way to open this is to double click it. If you try and open it through Excel, you might need to change some settings to be able to see it. So double click on the file and whatever spreadsheet software your computer has, this will probably be Excel or Open Office or um, uh, Numbers, for example, in uh, Macs. Uh, you can also upload it to Google Sheets, and it will look something like this. Now, the first thing you can do in terms of analyzing your tweets is look at the ones that have had the most impressions or engagement or something like that. And you can do this by clicking anywhere in the particular column that you're interested in. So let's say impressions, in other words, people who've seen this, and click on the A to Z button up here. Um, depending on your version of Excel, it should be under the data tab. And if you click on this once, it will sort it from smallest to, um, to big, biggest. If you click on it again, it will sort it from biggest to smallest. So you want to do that twice to see which tweet has the most impressions. You can click on any cell in any other column to do the same again. So in terms of engagements, I can look at that and see the same tweet has done well there. And then we have some other metrics like engagement rate. In other words, that's the amount of engagements per impression, um, retweets, and so on. So we can see this one didn't actually have that many retweets. Um, a different tweet had many more. And you've got clicks and so on. Now, another thing you might want to do is look at time. But the time column has all the details together. So there's no way to um, split up that unless you extract data from that another way. And I'm going to cover that uh, elsewhere. But the, the formula you want to use in Excel is one called left, which will grab characters from the left. There's another one called right, which will grab characters from the right. And there's another one called mid, which will grab characters from the middle. So if you want to look at the particular hour or the particular day or a particular day of the week, then you can do that with those formulas. These are called functions. And I'll link to some resources that explain that a bit more. But that's all I wanted to show you. Load up the spreadsheet, click on the column, and use the sort option to find the most clicked on or the most engaged or the most seen tweets. Then you can see all the metrics are over here. There's hashtag clicks as well, um, whether people have um, clicks on embedded media and so on.